everyone, Amy's here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm back again with another video and today I'm going to show you how I can easily cook this rib dish here, put in into my Philips air fryer. Uh, in less than 15 minutes, I can have a delicious rib, uh, barbecue rib dish. So this is something you like to watch. Please stay tuned. First of all, let's talk about marinating your rib. Um, here I probably have um, a pound of ribs here and what I did was just put in some soy sauce, some oyster sauce, some sesame oil, some pepper and I marinate this for 45 minutes to an hour and now it's ready to put into my Philips air fryer and um, I love this air fryer I got this for Mother's Day gift last year um, and I really love it because I'm not um, I, I don't really like to cook and I don't like to spend a lot of time cooking and sometimes I can just throw in the leftover french fries or fried chicken into the air fryer and in a few minutes the uh, old fried chicken become fresh again so that's why I want to show you how easily you can uh, make this rib dish and using Philips air fryer um, in 15 minutes then it's ready first of all let me open this so i can show you here's the basket i have the large size so that's why um i can cook uh, a good amount what i'm gonna do here is i am going to put all my ribs into the basket and and i will show you it's my camera angle is not correct but i'm going to show you so i'm just gonna dump everything in So this is what looks like that I put it into my air fryer. Okay, now I'm going to spray some of this this oil here. Spray a little bit and push it in. And I'm want to hold on. I want to use 390 degrees for 15 minutes. But around 10 minutes part, I will open it just to check to see how much longer I need to cook. So now, as you can see here, 15 minutes, 390 degrees. So the reason I really like this Philips air fryer is because you don't have to put extra oil when you fry stuff. And um, it's very healthy and it's very quick and it's very friendly, kids friendly. I mean. If you have little children, if they just want to heat up the fried chicken really fast, just dump it in and push the button and they won't get hurt. You know, you don't have to deal with this stove. So that's a good advantage about it. So uh, it's warming right now. That's why you still see the 15 uh, minutes mark. So I will be back a little bit to show you the progress. Okay, as you can see, it's 12 minutes left, 3 minutes gone by. So uh, 390 degrees. Okay, five minutes gone by, I'm gonna open the basket just to see uh, if I need to kind of like give it a shake. Mm. Okay, if you wanna take a look, let's take a look. This is the progress and I'm gonna put it back in. As you can see, we are at the five minutes mark, so I am going to show you what my rib looks like right now. You can see the rib is actually cooking really pretty good, and I'm going to flip it just to uh, rotate a little bit. So I'm going to continue cooking for four more minutes. Okay, as you can see, we're down to the last minute. So uh, we're ready to do the plating. Okay, spinal countdown.
I'm so excited because the color looks just so great. And in 15 minutes, you done. And then during this 15 minutes, if you have time, you can prepare some other dishes on the stove. All right. Yeah. And the reason you see the smoke back there is because the oil that from the ribs is dripping down. So that, um, you know, caused the smoke. So if this happened, all you have to do is just open the basket and give it a shake. Okay. All right. You hear that? Ding, ding. Okay, it's ready. All right. And I am going to give you a closer look. Beautiful. Okay. So now I'm going to do the plating. Alrighty. Okay. Just want to show you this beautiful rib dish. See right here? Beautiful rib dish that you can easily make in less than 15 minutes um, using Philips Air Fryer. I will be back with another video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.